You know, the shekel plummeted when the war began, um, having had a difficult 2023 already, touched, I think, for, um, less than 4.1 on the dollar, heading to five to the pound, which the Brits haven't seen for, <laughs> before I had any grey hair <laughs> that long ago. Um, do you think the, the shekel could continue its upward march? Because the factors that pulled it up in the past largely remain intact. The growth of um, domestic savings that are invested overseas and need to be hedged back. The move from imported energy to our own energy self-sufficiency and just the strong growth of the, tre the tech sector. So do you think they could reignite a continued bull run in the shekel? The big question, the fundamentals are what you mentioned. And if uh, the war is relatively short and if we are on a recovery path, I think there, uh, there are forces, the fundamentals that support the shekel. And I mentioned the current account uh, surplus and you know, if the tech sector and the defense industry that is now also uh, in, enjoying a boom, I'm not sure it's the right word, but I mean, both enjoying and boom. <laughs> uh, but uh, so I think that uh, these are uh, elements that support the strength of the shekel. However, uncertainty and concerns and uh, worry about uh, what's going to happen in the war. There are shorter term uh, effects that also may have an effect. I should mention two things that actually we've seen this very sharp strengthening of the shekel after the initial reaction. So I think one uh, element, although the, the exchange rate didn't react to it immediately, was the announcement of the bank, of the uh, uh, central bank, that it is willing to sell up to $30 billion, uh, if necessary. We saw that it was necessary only at the very beginning. It also announced that it's willing to inject $15 billion of dollars in liquidity, which was, I think, so I think that sort of was at the background. And then there was the weakening of the dollar, which also contributed. And one last element, which we've seen for a very long time, and then during the period of the uh, concern about the judicial overall, it seemed to not have an effect, but I think its effect is back, is the relationship between the exchange rate and what's happening in the stock market in the US. Uh, as you know, institutional investors have guidelines regarding how much exposure they want to have to uh, foreign assets. And if the, uh, if the share markets in the US, as they did, go up, they have to reduce back their exposure and then they're selling assets or foreign exchange or doing the financial uh, equivalent to that so as to reduce their exposure back. So this relationship, which was always very strong, seemed to have sort of vanished for a while uh, during the concern about the judicial overall, but I think it also contributed to the strengthening of the shekel in recent weeks.